Hi, my name is David Taylor Gomes, and I am the composer and lyricist for Ranked, a new musical at Granite Bay High School. Just kind of a big overview for you. Yeah, sure. I've been writing music ever since I was like a 10-year-old child, and I fell in love with musical theater when I was in high school. And so since then, it's kind of been brewing in my mind ever since I was a teenager, and I never really had the right opportunity to collaborate, because musical theater is a very collaborative art form. So for the past seven years, I've been um, musically directing with Kyle Holmes here at Granite Bay High School. He's the director of the show. I come in and teach all the music, and we've done that every spring for the past seven years. But last year, we noticed we had an extraordinarily talented group of uh, students, and we had collaborated two years ago on a project as writer and composer, and we wanted to do it again, and it just seemed like the right time. So we started writing um, Ranked. We didn't know what it was going to be called, but we knew we loved working with each other, and we knew the sound we were going for, and we knew we had the kids who could perform it. So that was the seed of how it started. Cool. Um, I just think the timing is so extraordinary. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And then it was the bombshell day when it dropped, and you're like, uh, we're doing this musical. Well, it, it was an interesting experience when the college cheating scandal hit the news, because all year we'd received a little bit of feedback from some of our friends, people we've shared the show with, that were like, is this really plausible? It seems a little unrealistic that a student would have parents paying for their grades and not realize it was happening. And then the whole story broke, and now I guess, I don't know. It's this feeling of, sur it feels so surreal. Like, we, we can't believe that our story came true. We always felt like things like that happened, but the timing of it has just been so serendipitous. I, I don't think I can cope yet. <laughs> That's amazing. What, yeah. um, and, and, you know, I'll, I'll ask uh, Carol about this, but, but in your words, you know, um, what is this musical? Ranked tells the story of really high-achieving students doing whatever they can to succeed. And for them, success means being the number one ranking student in their school. Basically, everything in this show has been pulled from high schoolers' genuine experiences. We didn't realize the plot was so realistic, <laughs> but... We definitely sat down with the students, asked them, how do you feel about this? What are your biggest stressors? What do you find um, worries you the most? What do you want the most? And then I would sit down and write songs to try and express the same feelings they were having. And to get myself in that headspace, I did open up my notebooks from when I was 15, 16, 17 years old to think about what was I worried about. And something that surprised me is how dramatic everything feels to you when you're that age. If you mess up on a test, you think your life is over. If someone dumps you, your life is over. If you, it feels like your life is constantly ending. Um, <laughs> and it's easy to look back on that as an adult and be like, wow, I was really overreacting. But I think it's just a part of being that age and, and figuring out who you are and feeling like you have to make everyone in your life proud of you, which is a very exhausting place to be. Um, one of those songs actually made it into the show, too, which is fun. <laughs> a song that I wrote when I was 17 made it into this musical. <laughs> How does that feel for you? Well, it's funny because... I don't know how it feels. It feels interesting to see that it still fits in, that in 10 years, that nugget of truth I stumbled upon as a 17-year-old doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. It's fun to realize that, that I was doing okay when I was 17 and, and I'm more mature and, and my music is more nuanced and, and poignant now, but that it was able to still fit in was a cool feeling. Do you think 17-year-old you would be proud of you now? I think 17-year-old me would be really excited. Real me is excited too. <laughs> <laughs> you spent so much time trying to please other people like you said in high school. Mm -hmm. like, Me. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's a very true thing. The only person that you have to live with for the rest of your life is yourself. So that's the only person you gotta, you gotta impress. Tell me uh, about um, the exposure that you had with the show in the wake of the college admission scandal. I'm sure it sort of started with the slow trickle of where it got out, but oh my gosh, you guys are, and the news, whoa, because I heard that you just got off the phone with 
NPR today. I yeah. Mean, tell me about all this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the media response has been absolutely insane um, in the best way possible. We set out to tell this story because it was something we saw and wished other people understood it and could relate to it and understood that this is a, an issue that we need to address and we need to work to change. And so with the media response, it just helps us tell that story even more. We're very passionate about the success of the students that we work with and the success of young people and to have the response from the media be as um, energetic and excited as we are, it just means that what we're talking about matters and other people agree that it matters too and that's the best feeling about this. One more. What, what's next for this musical? Huh. <laughs> My dream for this musical is to see it performed at high schools all across the country. I think students can relate to this material. I think their parents need to hear this message and their teachers need to hear this message. Administration needs to hear this message. And um, that's my dream. Uh, ranked performing in Nebraska and Wyoming and DC and everywhere. I would love a Broadway production of this show. Yeah, I mean, because we've had Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway. We now have Be More Chill on Broadway. Ranked can be the third high school musical on Broadway. <laughs> cool. Thanks cool. so much. <laughs>